Welcome back to some more DVD news. My name is Wolfie, and today we have a lot to talk about. This is where we talk about all the cool and new things coming to Dead by Daylight. Now, we have a very important dev stream, but first I want to talk about the last dev stream that did not happen. Some of you guys were messaging me going, I want more information on new killers, I want, I want the news. Wolfie owns, we want the news. And there was no dev stream last week. They canceled it. They called it off. I don't really know fully why. But I do have some suspicions about what they talked about in this dev stream as to why they did it. But anyways, let's jump in to the first part of the dev stream and get that covered. We're not going to really watch a long, big clip here of the dev stream covering this first part. But this first part was basically all the talk about the emblem system and how it went and what they learned from it and everything that they got from it and how they felt and blah 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 blah, blah and more blah <laughs> I do know some of you guys do care about this stuff so if you really do want to watch and hear all this stuff it happened literally at the start of the dev stream and it was pretty interesting there wasn't anything really special or crazy but it was thanking us for all of our work and participation in the emblem system so that was pretty awesome that was pretty cool they did get a lot of information out of it and they are planning to have a third updated emblem system and this will honestly be the last ptb that they're going to have for the emblem system because they got all the information that they needed and wanted from it which is really good so the new emblem system might be coming out in the future maybe in a few months we'll see but i am definitely excited about it and i am happy that all of you guys did so much work to make the emblem system work and that's i'm really happy about that you guys did a great job you guys did a great job give you give yourself a pat on the back you guys did amazing now let's talk about the first part of the dev stream the actual first part we're going to listen to so instead of me talking some more we're just gonna play it, so let's listen in. You probably have read about this for the, at, at this point. Uh, it's been officially announced that uh, Behavior is buying the publishing rights to uh, Dead by Daylight uh, from Starbreeze. Uh, so as of uh, now, in the, we're in the process of finalizing uh, the details. But uh, Behavior is going to be uh, is going to be fully in control of uh, of Dead by Daylight, and it's a very very exciting thing for us. Really, uh, it's going to be. Uh, uh, we're all eager to see how the future is going to pan out, but it really is going to be a, a change of pace for us. Uh, I want to make sure we, we take the time to thank everyone over at Starbreeze who's worked with us. Uh, they've been super, super helpful on many fronts. Uh, a lot of the different aspects in the publishing and marketing, uh, they were present to guide us through the process. We've learned some things together. And it's really been a blast to work with them uh, throughout the, the year and a half to two years that we've been, uh, we've been live now. Uh, this is going to open up some doors for us in the future. Uh, we're really, really eager to see uh, what's coming up. And one thing we want to do is to uh, be a lot more communicative with, uh, with the community in terms of what's upcoming, what we're working on right now, what's our timelines, what we expect to be working on for the foreseeable future, and, uh, and all that stuff. Woo! That is extremely good news. Now, some of you guys might not really care about this. You're probably just like, oh, so Behavior owns mostly, or if not all, of Dead by Daylight now. Ooh, what's that really mean, Wolfie owns? That's not really a big deal to me. Why should I care? Well, actually, this is a really, really big deal, and you should definitely care, because now Dead by Daylight is completely owned by Behavior, which means they have full rights to do almost anything they want now, which is really good because now they could show us all kinds of information they couldn't show us before they can let us know things ahead of times they could give us sneak peeks on new killers coming out there's so so much that they can do now now that they own the rights to dead by daylight completely and that is that is just really good that is just extremely good and we'll see how the future pans out with this but it is it is extremely good and i am very excited about it as anyone else should be and aha uh -huh. oh, that it's so good that's really really amazing to know so i'm excited and you should be excited too 
And that was pretty much the dev stream. They did show us a video though, and I will play the video. We will talk about the video. I will stop it in between the video. But before we get too far ahead into the video and play it just now, I do want to play one more clip from the dev stream. And then after that, we will jump into the video. So let's listen in. Uh, no, it, it comes time with, uh, like I said, we want to be a lot more open uh, to the community uh, than we've been in the past. And we want to make sure you guys are feeling involved yeah, not necessarily in the design process, but you know where the project is going and you can feel like Dead by Daylight is a place uh, is a place you like to be and you want to stay with us and the project is going to keep evolving and we're really, really uh, putting a lot of love and effort into making this uh, the best game we can make it. Uh, so we have prepared a, uh, a pretty cool video, I think, uh, to, uh, to lead us to our second year anniversary that's going to happen in a couple of uh yeah before we start the video i just want to Go say ahead. we're gonna have uh, uh more information coming out uh on social media and on our website uh right after the stream so you're mysterious i'm mysterious it's cool too. I wanna it, say... there's a lot a lot of good stuff in there uh so we'll start with uh with the video i don't know if you have anything to add otherwise we'll probably end Ooh, the stream yes. on the video directly Absolutely. so uh a video about just, just watch it. Before we play the video just yet, I do want to say one more thing, and that's basically, if you want to see the dev stream, it was literally only like 30 minutes, it was really short, but I will have a link down in the description below if you want to find out all about the PTB and everything else. Now, we will play the video, and I will be stopping it here and there to talk about parts in the video. If you want to see the full video, link's in the description down below. Hello, good people of the fog. Uh, I'm here because in June, we're gonna be celebrating our second year anniversary and we are very excited about that. So the game has changed a lot since launch. We've added uh, about seven chapters so far. We've added a bunch of new languages, new features. <laughs> oh, rip Freddy. Freddy was nowhere to be seen in that little montage stuff that you've asked, stuff that you didn't know you wanted, and uh, there's a lot more coming, so we want to make sure to uh, give you a little heads up and give you our commitment for the next year. First of all, we think it's really important that we share our high-level plan and vision for the next 12 months. A chapter will be released every three months for a total of four chapters in the same format as before, so one killer, one survivor, and one map. Oh my god, David literally just told us that we have a killer coming out pretty much next month or in the next following month, but basically, as you can see here, we will have a killer every three months. A killer, a survivor, and a map. So basically, every three months we will be getting a chapter. This is really big and important information because basically now you can save up and plan ahead because every three months we will be getting a new chapter which is a new killer, new survivor, a new map. Oh, that is huge information. Like I said, they share so much more with us now that they own it and that is big. That is awesome. Like before, the maps are gonna be free and available to everyone, but we're also making a huge change to how you'll be able to unlock killers and survivors. As you know, these guys change the meta. They really add new fantasy and it's important to the game. So the killer and the survivor will be available with playtime. I, I don't think I heard that right. D Dave, what, one more time. What, what did you say? So the killer and the survivor will be available with playtime. So the killer and the survivor will be available with playtime. Yes! 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 Oh my god. So basically, Dave has just told us that we can get the new DLCs, the new chapters, the killer, the survivor, the map, all literally for free. I will say this one more time. Dead by Daylight new chapters you can literally get for free. 100% guaranteed. The only thing is when a new chapter or DLC comes out, you do need to play a lot of Dead by Daylight in order to unlock the DLC, but you get it 100% free. You can still buy it to unlock it immediately, but you don't need to pay a cent. You don't need to pay anything anymore to unlock DLCs for the future, and that is amazing. They could do this because they own the rights now to it. I told you, there's so much amazing things that come out of them owning the rights, and that is amazing. Now, we don't know if this counts for old DLCs or not, 
but let's keep listening and find out some more information. This is true for all of our original character, past and future. For the licensed character, we want to be completely transparent. It's going to be a case by case. We'll let you know as soon as we can. We'll also start selling outfits. It's something that a lot of you have been asking us for a long time. This will help us sustain the game and our ambition for the game for a long time. I'm super excited and the art team is super proud to be able to show you a sneak peek today of these outfits. As we promised, all of these items are purely cosmetic and optional. We also want to make sure that there is something for everyone. So either you're casual or hardcore in the game, you'll be able to unlock the majority of these cosmetics with playtime. So past DLCs you can unlock by playing time by play oh my oh my god I'm too excited to even talk by playtime, which is extremely amazing and awesome. And did you see those DLC skins? Those skins you can unlock by playtime and or by buying them and they look beautiful! Look at them! They look amazing! That's so freaking cool! Oh my god, and they could do all of this because they own the right- Ah, oh, It is so good to have this behavior own all the rights to Dead by Daylight. Like I said, there's so much good that can come out of this and it is amazing. I am so happy to get some of those skins. You can buy all of the stuff, all the DLCs immediately. You can have it immediately. They're not out yet, but when they come out, you can buy them immediately. It does cost money, of course. But if you don't have money or you just can't afford them or you don't want to spend money on them whatsoever, you can unlock them by playing the game and get them 100% free, which is just awesome and amazing. That is so freaking awesome. Cool. But, anyways, let's continue the video. Also doing a complete revamp of our progression ladder. We want to be as inclusive as possible and allow all players to be able to have significant progress into it. Also for seasoned players, we are adding a leaderboard for the top ranks. So you'll need to fight every day to stay on there. First step towards this new progression ladder is the emblem system. And we wanted to take a minute just to thank you for uh, your participation in the PTB and making this a solid system. Next step, the ranking itself will come in the next couple of months. So they're going to be adding a leaderboard and changing up the rank system still. They're working on it and I don't really kn know how I feel about that. I don't, I don't, to be honest, I really don't like it because if you add a leaderboard to the game, it's going to make players want to try hard. It's going to make players want to bring the best items every single game. It's going to make them want to bring the best add-ons every single game. It's going to make them want to bring the best offerings every single game. And people are going to try so hard to be on that leaderboard. And I don't know, that sounds really boring to me. That, like, There's going to be so many people, majority of people are going to be trying so hard to be on that leaderboard. It's not going to be any fun. Like the, the game is going to go from being fun to more competitive. And that's not really good in my opinion I know some people want that and they're looking forward to that but in my opinion I don't really enjoy that I like to have fun more than try hard in a game because having fun is what matters in gaming in my opinion now I don't really know how DC's or pull on your cord or plug is going to work with the leaderboard I'm pretty sure they don't have a way around that so people are gonna be exploiting it doing that which is really gonna suck but on the other hand, we could get some cool rewards out of it, like cosmetics from the leaderboard, which could be cool, but that's just my opinion on the leaderboard. Let me know what your guys' thoughts and opinions are on the leaderboard down in the comments below. As you all know, being a new player in Dead by Daylight can be a little bit difficult. This is why we decided to improve our onboarding system with a whole new tutorial section to the game. Our goal is to make Dead by Daylight a welcoming place for all players. As time passed by, there's a lot of challenges we've had to put ourselves up against, some of which we've already been able to put behind us and some of which are still in front of us right now. The loss of progress issue is something we take very seriously here and we have taken a lot of steps in the recent months to actually improve on the issues. 
We're hoping that in a few weeks from now we'll be able to reach resolution and everyone will feel safe about their safe games in the community. Another item that's high priority for us right now is to focus on our anti-cheat measures and making sure the game is as secure as we can make it. So basically what they're saying here is that they are still working on the loss of progress that still happens to people. Recently it happened to me. You guys should know this if you watch my videos and sadly because it happened to me on my alt account the series double rank one challenge sadly had to come to an end because I couldn't finish it with my alt account being reset. So yeah, you guys already know that, but they're still working on fixing the reset thing, the reset bug or whatever, and that's really good news. Something we're really excited about is the addition of a systematic mid-chapter patch. The idea is to allocate enough time for balancing, bug fixing, quality of life improvement, and general polishing of the game. And it just keeps getting better because now Not Queen has showed us that we have a mid chapter patch, which is amazing. If you guys did not see it, I will definitely show it on the screen here. But basically in between every three months of those chapters, we are going to have a mid chapter update. Ugh, there's just so much cool stuff coming to Dead by Daylight. Ah, oh, it's gonna be so awesome. The game's getting so many updates, it's getting so many stuff. Cosmetics, mid-chapter patches, chapters, free chapters. Dead by Daylight is just having a crazy change, a crazy turn now that they own the rights, and I am extremely excited about it. Oh, man, this is amazing and great. Let's just keep watching the video. And now, something that gets me very excited is the fact that we want to move towards a release process that will include the public tests a lot more directly in the pipeline. We're hoping this will allow us to push a much better version of the game to the public and that we'll catch more pressing or urgent issues before we actually push these versions out. So we launched the game about two years ago with a team around 35 people. Since then, we've grown to about 75 now. We also have about 20 mods, amazing people that have been helping us from around the world. We have translators in a lot of different countries, broadcasters from everywhere who've uh, kept their commitment and their enjoyment of the game. And obviously I can't forget the millions of players who are uh, with us every day. In June this year, we are going to be celebrating our two-year anniversary. For us, it's a big milestone. We want to make sure that you understand just how committed we are. That this is just the beginning for us. Amazing. A beautiful, beautiful work, devs. Give them a round of applause. Amazing. I'm not even being sarcastic either. It sounds like it, but I'm not. <laughs> oh my God, there's so many good and amazing things that are coming out of this. We are getting awesome cosmetics. We are getting a DLC, a new chapter every three months. And not only that, but you can get those DLC chapters 100% free guaranteed. Or if you just want it right at the start of the game when the DLC comes out, you can literally buy it still. I'm pretty sure they're going to be maybe around $5, $7. We don't know yet. But when a new DLC comes out, you can get it 100% free. I don't know how I feel about the leaderboard, though. I'm, I'm still a little iffy about it. Hopefully, it will not be as bad as I'm thinking it's going to be. But... Honestly, I do think the leaderboard is going to be pretty bad. Just picture survivors in your game with items every time. Franklin's Demise is going to become a must-have at that rate. It's just... <laughs> brand new parts. Oh, brand new parts every game. I am definitely not looking forward to the leaderboard because people are going to be definitely trying hard. And that is it for the dev stream today, and that is going to be it for the news. Now make sure you do go down in the comment section below and let me know how do you feel about all this. Are you excited? Are you happy? Are you sad? Uh, do you want the new cosmetics? Let me know down in the comment section below. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on all of this because I love hearing your guys' thoughts and opinions. They mean a lot to me. But stay tuned for 10 o'clock news tonight. Did the devs do a pretty good job? So far, I think we, uh, I think we did a pretty good job.